Hello, welcome to Timelines AI Support. In this video, we'll go over the configuration that we have to do for the WhatsApp live chat to be used on HubSpot. This live chat view will allow you to send and receive WhatsApp messages from HubSpot so you can work focused on your contacts and deals on that CRM. Before we can continue, it's important to always remind you that you have to have your WhatsApp account connected to Timelines and also that you have to already have configured the HubSpot integration here on Timelines. Additionally, keep in mind that if you would like your team members to use the WhatsApp live chat view, then you must have them here on Timelines and also you have to ask them to connect their uh, personal HubSpot user profiles here on their uh, respective Timelines AI accounts. So they can also use this particular WhatsApp live chat view that we're going to be configuring in this video. So to get started, uh, we're going to open one uh, contact here on HubSpot. And keep in mind that this particular configuration that we're going to be doing here must be done within contacts and deals. So in this case, we're going to focus for the sake of this video in a contact. This means that if I configure this particular WhatsApp chat view for this contact, then the effect will be for this and the rest of the contacts that I have and that I will have on HubSpot. And the same process will apply to the HubSpot deals if you enable it for one deal, it will be enabled for the rest of the deals that you have and that you may have in the future. So to get started here, we just click on this customize button that you will see within the contact. Here, you're gonna be taken to a page where you're going to select the default view, which is the layout of the contact on a HubSpot in this case. Now, you're going to refer to this uh, sidebar that's on your right, and you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page until you see the live WhatsApp chat. This is the uh, particular chat view that we install with the integration that you have done before between Timeless and HubSpot. So you will see it at the bottom, but let's say that you want it to, to, be, uh, to be visible at the top. So in this case, you just need to drag and drop this wherever you would like to have it. In this case, I think I will have it as the third item in this sidebar right there. And once you're satisfied with the, location, with the location of this particular, I would say, tool, you can just click on Save and Exit. This will take you back to the contact here on HubSpot, and you'll be able to use the WhatsApp chat view here. You'll see the button available for you to click on. And in this case, we're going to load the entire conversation that you have with the contact. If you haven't started the conversation with the contact, the system will allow you to select the contact from this side of the chat view so you can start a conversation with them. Now, in this case, I can uh, definitely send regular messages. All right. I can send this message without any issues. And also, I can include emojis. And also, if you want to send attachments, this is definitely possible by clicking on this icon. You can definitely send that, like, for example, uh, images, or if you would like to send a, a file, that will be perfectly fine, and the system will allow you to do that. But in any case, I can either click on this button here or just Control enter if you're using a Windows computer or device. You'll notice that there's a loading loop here. You don't have to worry about it. The system has already sent the message, and that loading loop is just uh, just stays there indicating that this message has been recently sent. You will see that the timestamp will be included as well. And it also, you will see this uh, particular text here that indicates that you can actually use templates. So in this case, you can definitely create templates on timelines based on what you want to specifically mention in your text. You can either use them for frequently asked questions, for instance. But in any case, if you press the slash character or, or button within your keyboard, you're going to be able to load all the templates that you have created on timelines. This will be definitely visible here. So in this case, I will just uh, go with this test template. As you can see, I have the, the text visible here. And if you have emojis or added any particular special characters here, all that will be visible and usable within this chat view on HubSpot. Additionally, uh, it's important to identify the specific elements that we have within this chat view. You will see the context name, and you will see that you're sending the message on behalf of someone in particular. Also, you will see the chat ID, which is a unique identifier that we have for chats on timelines, which is similar to the WhatsApp JID that we have talked about in previous videos. And we also have 
the phone number in international format. So in this case, I can just click on send this message. I can close this view. I can refresh the page here. And you will see that the messages that we send to the contact are visible within the same activity. And you will notice that uh, we uh, indicated this was sent from the HubSpot UI, meaning that we sent it from the WhatsApp chat view here on HubSpot. So uh, that will be it for this video. It's a quick a video on how you can configure and use this live WhatsApp chat view. Remember to also apply these steps within the deals on HubSpot. In this case, you just need to open one deal, configure it the same way we did here, and that will be saved for all the existing and new deals that you create on HubSpot. Remember, if you have any questions for us, you can always reach out uh, by sending us a message using this bubble here. This is our live chat support. And uh, without anything else to add here, uh, I do appreciate your time and your attention. Thank you very much for being part of this short journey throughout the HubSpot integration. Have a good day and take care.